Alright YouTube, um, just thought I'd do a very very quick update um, I'm having a bit of a running session tonight I've uh, got six trains running um, So I just thought I'd give you, an, you know, give you an update on a couple of things that I've been doing This is not scenery by any stretch of the imagination All I've done, rather than get all my little cars and buildings and stuff in boxes I've just got them out, just to see, you know, just to place things in different areas really I'm not very good with a blank canvas so it helps if I can get stuff out and also when I'm having a bit of a running session it makes it feel like I've got some kind of scenery um, so if I come back here you know it, it's going to be something like that basically um, sorry I'm using my iPhone tonight because my other camera's flat um, so yeah that's all that's all temporary up there although the uh, the raised up area is going to be there um, trees you know, I won't be using them trees I'll be using decent trees but it gives you an idea um, one thing that I have done though which I will be keeping is this, um, this sort of uh, bridge section um, which I, I made out of the Pico size and just some MDF which I quite like it's got a little bit more work to do to it um, it gives you an idea um, so yeah I think it looks alright really it gives you an idea of what, what things may or may not look like um, in terms of purchases <coughs> I brought this um, this Batman car park and also I brought some more more of these wagons so I've got a nice little rake of these now I still want to get probably about maybe about 8 more would be, would be great that's my sound loco I've got it switched off um, but it is a sound loco I've started doing my getting all the bus wire in place finally um, so that's helping with the with the running of it I've got a squeaky one so I'm going to turn that one off um, and what I'm using for my bus wire is these um, little adapters so basically you slide you slide that bit onto your bus wire um, then put the other wire in the dropper wire squeeze them together um, push them together and it's done so I haven't got to put any other any other clips in they're just that's the dropper wire and it goes in and squeezes and if, the, if you had to change the dropper you could just cut that wire there and leave that as it is and put one next to it but that's quite a, a neat and easy an easy way of doing it obviously it never looks neat under here um, but that's really helped with the running of it um, another question I've been getting is about the, uh, the insulation so I thought I'd show what that is basically um, last time I went up there it was about 15 quid um, for this uh, this strip um, and it's 7.5 meters in length I think that's about 25 foot um, but yeah that's 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 all it is it's basically it's basically silver foil with bubble wrap in between and I will be I mean I finished it all up the top there as you can see I've done I've done all down to there um, the sticky tape is this stuff um, which is really sticky actually um, and it makes makes a perfect join so not relevant today cause it's bloody boiling hot up here but in the winter or throughout the rest of the summer I will get the rest of that done um, ready for the winter I've repainted these beams. I'm always doing some bloody job up here. I painted it first time in emulsion, which you know wood. You know, painting emulsion on wood paint is is pointless really. So I've done like a satin gloss, so I can, you know, every time you touch it, it doesn't leave a mark. Basically, I've got one of my old remote control planes up there, <coughs> which I salvaged. It's actually all broken there, but I glued it all together. But um, I quite like that up here actually, it looks pretty good. I've got it hanging up on some wire. Um, and everything else is all is all waiting really. So I just thought I'd give you a little update really, just to let you know I am working on it. Um, and I think actually along there um, will be all residential. I quite like the idea of doing a street scene. But you know how it is, you know, you, you put stuff up and it's always changing. That's why I thought, well, if I put the stuff up there, rather than being in boxes, if I put it up there, it might, you know, and leave it for a couple of weeks. See how it feels to have it up there like that. And that's just um, Metcalf, Metcalf brick walling. That'll be all packed. 
Yeah, still got all the Pico sides to put in. Um, don't know how I'm going to uh, rub down there, but I'll have to get some kind of sander on there to, uh, to do that. There'll be some kind of hill area coming down here, maybe with a hidden entrance to this yard, so it gives me a bit of space for, for stuff to be happening there. But it's all, it's all good, it's all there for the planning. Um, I'm just fiddling about with it really f throughout the summer, ready for um, you know, scenery in the winter. Um, so that's it, I've put a 5 album sign up there as well. I said I see it, I just thought I'd say hello really and uh, let you know that you know stuff is happening to it. I know everyone's down the beach these sort of months, um, but I do come up here every now and again for a little while because it helps with the stress of life and work etc. Um, I quite like this little rake of uh, wagons and I should think weathered that would look fantastic. So, I shall speak to you next time. Have a nice summer, everyone. Cheers, bye.